This episode of Grip Tips has been brought to you by M Squared Studio, and if you'd like to help out the channel, you can visit my Patreon page. I'll leave a link in the description below. We're back. We're back. I'm Dave Donaldson. Welcome back to Grip Tips. Last time in part one of the Joker 800, we taught you guys how to bring it out of the case and get it set up so that you can use it. This time, we're going to teach you how to replace the globe that's inside. First and foremost, turn the lamp off and disconnect the head cable from anything. This is just a good way to make sure that there's no power running to the head. Then start off by loosening this top notch, but don't remove it, just loosen it. You may also want to tilt the Joker in an upward position if the head is on a stand. Then look for the screw located at the bottom of the Joker right here and take an Allen key to loosen it. And again, don't remove the screw, just loosen it. Then look for the same type of screw that is located on the lamp left side of the fixture and loosen that as well. And I'm sorry, but I kind of have a bad angle here. Now the reason we didn't take these screws all the way out is because when we twist the reflector clockwise, the screws and knob line up with the other slots so that the reflector can be removed. And just for redundancy, I'm showing it here again. And when you pull the reflector off, go slow and take the reflector off in the direction that the globe is pointed so that you don't damage the globe, beaker, or reflector. On the bottom of the Joker with a flathead screwdriver, locate and loosen this screw. Again, we're not going to completely remove this screw, we're just loosening it. You'll also find another screw on the top lamp left side above the screw we loosened earlier. And last but not least, on the opposite upper lamp right side, there's usually a third screw, but in this rental unit, this was missing, so just be sure to look for this and loosen that as well. Now pull the silver colored ring off of the head and you'll notice a white plastic gasket ring thing. Pull that off, and I'm probably being a little too cautious with pulling off the beaker, but that comes out too. And lastly, another white plastic gasket ring thing. Now, quick side note, I did that without gloves, and that was dumb for two reasons. One, if I was working on this on a real set, this light would be scorching hot. I was only shooting B-roll for this portion, so the light was completely ice cold, but on set, the entire light would be scorching hot. So that was a, a dumb reason, number one. Uh, number two, your hand should never ever come in contact with any globe when you're changing it. The the reason for that is that your hands actually carry your body's natural sexual oils and if that transfers onto the globe uh, for the HMI or really any light, that oil will react with the globe and it'll pop the globe when you try to strike it up. So all that work that you just did will have been for nothing. Now that's not to say that I haven't touched a globe or two. I'm just saying that you want to do everything in your power not to. Now the globe inside of the Joker just pulls straight out. There's no twist or anything special about it. It just pulls straight out. Uh, but let's say that you're trying to pull that globe out so that you can put it back in later. Here's a trick you can use. With a file or a screwdriver, you can gently pry on both sides of the globe and it will work itself out. And try to grab the base with your gloves or anything to prevent the $200 globe from falling and smashing onto the ground. I don't really have anything interesting to say about the inside, but I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. And now from there, it's just reversing everything that we just did with one extra step. Putting the globe back in, you can see that I'm using my Leatherman again to avoid any contact with the glass. You know, you can kind of find your own method. Now here's the extra part that we have to do. You'll need either alcohol wipes or a clean cloth with rubbing alcohol to sterilize the outside of the globe before putting everything back together. And be meticulous when you're cleaning this as you don't want to put everything back together and find out the hard way that you missed a spot. You know, striking. Then put the white gasket ring thing back on, followed by the beaker, which I also use lens tissue and a little bit of Pancro to grab the beaker and reinstall. Drop down the other white gasket ring thing, then the silver ring thing, lined up the screw holes and tightened them down. Then carefully slid the reflector back on and into position, tightened down all the screws and the one thumb knob and struck the light just to make sure that everything was working A-OK. -okay. When it comes to your GE rental house needs, M Squared Studio is not only that, but they're also an insert stage located in Parsippany, New Jersey. Within the Manhattan zone in just 30 minutes from Midtown, the studio offers discounted or free delivery rates for your production. If you have any questions about what you've seen in today's episode, or maybe you're looking for a rental quote, you can feel free to reach out to them at www.msquaredstudio.tv. Uh, you can also visit their Instagram page. And currently, if you mention Grip Tips with your quote, they'll actually give you 20% off. And this is only happening for the next six months. So make sure that you hop on top of that. But sadly, that's all that I have for you guys today. If you liked today's episode, please let me know in the comment section below. You could also follow me on my Twitter right here. Don't forget to buy a t-shirt. Don't forget to that subscribe button. Be a supporter on Patreon, and we'll see you next time right here on Grip Tips.